Welcome, this is the Algebra 1 end of course practice test number 3, question number 24. The question says, what, which is the closest to the area of the figure? And I'm going to tell you right now that I do not like these types of questions for a variety of reasons. Probably because they're just the ones that I'm the worst at explaining on how to do. But the big deal here is they want you to think what is the closest to the area. And it's got the word area in it, so it's logical to think like, well, maybe you could use the formulas page. It says area on there somewhere. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to page 3 in my booklet, and I'm going to look for area formulas. Well, I know there's a length times width formula for rectangle. That might come in handy. There's a circle thing here, so pi r squared. That might be useful. And then I've got this 1 half base times height for triangle. Now that I think I can actually use. I'm going to go back to my equation or my question, not equation, it's just a question. And then I'm going to see if I can use any of those formulas. So I think about it for a second, and there's probably some, at least one of those shapes in here somewhere. What if I did this? All of a sudden, I start to get this whole, oh look, it's a triangle thing. But the big issue is you should notice there's some extra that wouldn't be inside that triangle. So I'm going to make a note to myself that says plus more. I know that seems stupid, but it'll pay off later for me. Um, I'm going to write the formula for a triangle down, 1 half base times height. I'm also going to notice that the legend tells me that each one of those units is two square units. So anything that I get uh, from my formula, I need to multiply that whole thing by 2 to give me some reasonable facsimile um, as far as that's concerned. So my base here would be 1, 2, 3, 4. My height here would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So the area of this figure, or this triangle anyway, would be 1 half of 16 or 8. But I need to multiply it by 2 to give me 16. So that's a good starting point. That's, now I've got all this done. I've adjusted for all that. And then I'm going to think, well, there's almost another triangle over here. And it's just going to be sort of like this. Once again, there's plus more involved. And that's important later. So I'm going to set up an area formula for this one. My base here would be um, 1, 2. My height would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So I end up with a half of 8 or 4. And remember, I need to multiply times 2. And that gives me an uh, area of this section of 8. So I'm going to add 16 and 8 together and I get 24 which is easy to dive on the answer of B that's why the plus more is important if I have more than 24 I just go up to the next one there's no reason to go to 32 there's no way that the value of all this despite how long it is is going to get all the way up to 32 because that's considerably more that's you know almost a third more or it is a third more of the amount that I have now and that's not really that doesn't make any sense but this one being about, you know, a sixth more is reasonable. That's why when you have quote-unquote plus more, you want to get uh, the one that's above it. Another way that I've seen it done is to look at it in terms of just counting the full squares and partials and whatever. So this is about a half, so I tend to break things down in one, three-quarters, one-half, and one-quarter. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of full ones. This is about a three quarter, so one, two, three, four, maybe even five three quarters. And then for halves, I've got one, possibly two ish. And for the fourths, I have like maybe sort of like one there. Now these two together should make one uh, a quarter. And then this would might be a quarter, I don't know, so let's just say two quarters. And then you could just sort of work them up to where you end up with uh, one here, and this would be three and three quarters, something like that, and this one would be nine, and then maybe you could get a half here. You just try to add them all together and make it happen, but to me that never really, and then all that's multiplied by two, of course, so end up with... Uh, basically around 14-ish, and then I do 14 times 2, and it gives me 28. 
So that works out okay. That might be a method that you could use if you're, you like to do that style. But doing the other way works just as well. Just remember, if you've got that more plus more stuff going on, you don't pick the exact answer because you've got to adjust for the extra rollover that you'd be using.